Hey, hey family, Kiki Soto here, Urban Girl Gardening and Lifestyle. I have recorded a video for you guys uh, with me doing some direct sowing of some of my warm weather crops, but I figure I might as well come out and show you exactly what is on the list for the duration of the growing season. So, funny story, I actually let Sky pick out the varieties that you see before you. So if you follow me on um, my Facebook group or Instagram, then you've probably seen this already. But we, I literally just like laid out all my squash, all my cucumber, all the melons, and let Sky pick like two or three or whatever, how many of I told her for each variety at the time, and she chose the varieties, and that's what we're growing. <laughs> so um, let's get started here with the corn varieties. So you guys know I love, 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 loved growing my mini blue popcorn last season. So I'm going to do strawberry popcorn. I'm going to do this glass gym popcorn. I may do this early sun glow. Um, I wasn't a big fan of it last year, but I only have a few seeds. So I might just throw these in a container somewhere. So we'll see. Um, this golden bantam corn yeah so that's it those are the varieties that I'm going to be growing you guys will see also I planted one more variety I don't know where that packet is but you'll see later on in the video so for squash and zucchini let's see so we have this eight ball squash this is a 50 to 60 day variety most summer squashes are so I'll probably do some of these, maybe like another week or so. Um, straight neck, do these almost every year, love these. Golden egg hybrid, I actually planted some of these earlier, you guys will see that. This one, oh, this one here is a 40 to 45 day variety. This black fusu squash, I believe, I wanna say GT Junior sent me these. GT Junior grows it, um, Alaska. Let's see this mashed potatoes hybrid this is another winter squash and winter squash guys they say winter squash but you grow them in the summertime and they last you throughout the winter months so you grow them for winter storage oh here is the corn that I grew earlier well that I sowed earlier I also sowed this early acorn hybrid and you guys again you will see that in more detail coming up and I will also be sowing this Golden Hubbard Winter Squash, 95 to 110 days. Yeah, most winter squash take a long time uh, to maturity because they need to fully develop so that they're strong enough to last the long winter seasons. So let's move on to the cucumbers. I did drop some cucumber seeds earlier. I'm contemplating this one. I'm not quite sure if I want to do it. 55 days. We'll see. I might. Um, these I dropped earlier, the muncher cucumbers, that's a melon, this I'm excited about, this crystal apple cucumber, I actually might come out and sow these tomorrow in between the rain, we'll see, this honey hybrid, this didn't do so good last season, I'm going to plant one somewhere else and test it out again. Lemon cucumbers, oh gosh, I love these. They taste so good. They are prolific, but they take a long time. So if you're growing lemon cucumbers and you're wondering why you haven't gotten any yet, just be patient, they're coming. And when they do, they are going to go crazy. And this was one of my favorites. I will insert um, at the top in the card my cucumber harvest where I talk about the different varieties that I grew last season. I absolutely had a ball growing these white wonder cucumbers. They are so good. They pickle well and they just you you're gonna get so much. They they grow non-stop. So for melons, for melons guy chose the early silver line. <laughs> Use that y'all I told y'all I'm hood adjacent now these early silver line melons 75 days to harvest my season is about 153 155 somewhere like that um, black diamond watermelon and that is let's see 90 days this golden midget 70 days 
and this one came from GT I know that for sure uh, this banana melon and that's only 85 days so we're gonna put that arch trellis we're gonna put that arch trellis to work then I'm going to be direct sowing some grains not today but you guys will see that um, y'all already know how I feel about this red spike amaranth and it grew so well for me I actually still have the grains I didn't use them yet but hmm, maybe I'll just take those seeds and resow them and save these I don't know but anyway I will leave that um, amaranth harvest video for you guys as well this one I wanted to do last season but I forgot about it so I'm gonna go ahead and do this sorghum as well 80 to 90 days Chia. I love chia. I love chia pudding. I love adding it to my uh, smoothies. So I'm going to try this too. 140 days and I probably should hop on that soon. We're going up into the 70s and 80s soon. Yeah, I'll be all over that forecast. Black sesame. Another one that I really like. And does it say how long to harvest? No, but I'm going to direct sow these and I'm going to grow these all in grow bags. Now I tried the rice and I don't think I let them get um, moist enough, stay moist enough. I let them dry out too much. So I'm going to try them again. I did watch a video that said to sow these seeds in compost and keep it moist. So I'm going to try that. And then there's black chia. Again, we love chia. So that's what I'm going to be sowing. And these are a bunch of different bean varieties from at home with Cherie, my home girl. Y'all, everybody who's been with me for a while knows that I love legumes. So I, there's so many varieties in here, but just know I'm gonna be growing a lot of beans. So that's all y'all. And we're going to go ahead and I wanna show you everything that I planted and what I did in my garden. Thank you guys for listening. Okay family, so here we are outside. I decided to come out and clean up this garden bed. I always do this one first and I think it's because of all these tree seeds um, that are always in here. So I'm going to clean this bed up. I'm going to pull up this pot of mint because you can see the roots did spread but that's fine. I'm going to actually leave those in because this bed doesn't give me any pest problems so I'm gonna leave that little bit of mint in and just keep my eye on it but the pot is coming out I'm gonna continue cleaning up all of these tree seeds they're everywhere as you can see and I'm taking my cue from nature I got a lot of sunflowers that popped up about a week ago and although it's been cold and warm and cold and warm these guys have stuck around so I'm gonna go ahead and plant some of these warm weather um, varieties that I have. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm just going to plant a few and see what happens. So I'm going to do that acorn squash. That's a winter squash, um, but it's only a 75 day variety, I believe. I'm going to do that golden egg squash that I showed you guys the picture of earlier in the video. Um, I'm also going to do this muncher cucumber. But first, I am going to clean this bed up. I basically just got my rake and raked this up. It's a lot easier than trying to pick out all the tree seeds and whatnot. So that's all I did, rake it up, and then I just tossed it up over the fence line, y'all. Oh, these tree seeds drive me crazy every season. So I decided, you know what? I did plant corn here in the same spot last season, tree seed. Um, so I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and plant some more here. Now I'm about, a week or so behind in getting my corn started indoors so I figured while I start one of the varieties indoors I'll direct sow um, this strawberry I'm sorry not strawberry corn this red sweet corn out here and now I'm just spreading some worm castings just like a little amendment to the soil this bed doesn't need a lot it just got amended in the fall it gets amended like two to three times a year so I don't want to OD but the worm castings were harvested from a good friend of mine a good supporter of mine um, from Facebook I think she's over here on YouTube as well so thank you very much Heather for these harvested worm castings um, from your worm bin I greatly appreciate it so we just gonna pop that pot of mint right out of there and Sky and AJ actually planted this mint in another big pot they transplanted it which is really good it'll have room for the roots to spread and we can harvest mint all summer long and it'll just come back in that same pot next season so 
good to go. Now here is where I made my rolls for the double red sweet corn. That's the name of it. The corn seeds are super cute. I love that color red. So I can't wait to harvest some more. Again, this is not the same as the strawberry popcorn. This is actually a red sweet corn, which I'm super excited about. Um, never grew sweet corn that was a color before, so I like that. So I'm planting the corn about five or six inches um, apart. I've never had a problem planting my corn that close together. And then, so that's seven rows there, so that's 14. I think I planted about 20 corn seeds because that's what I planned for because that's what they said was in the packet. Um, but I ended up having a lot more than that. So I planted 20 seeds all together and I'm thinking the rest of the seeds that were extra, I guess, I think I'm just gonna put them in a pot or a grow bag and just grow them there. I'm just adding some more worm castings because worm castings are a slow release nitrogen and corn is in the grass family and corn loves nitrogen. So I'm just sprinkling a little more worm castings there, won't hurt, and watering this in. It's also gonna rain all day tomorrow. That's that natural nitrogen from God. So we are gonna let mother nature do what it do. And once I see the kernels germinate, then I'll come back and add some beans. I always plant beans in my corn. So here, I believe those are the golden egg squash that I put in that hole. Um, and then the other squash I'm going to plant here on the other side of that um, collard green right there and then the sunflower behind it. I have no intentions of moving that sunflower. If you've been with me um, through the last garden <laughs> season, then you know my garden is always chaotic, but it's a beautiful chaos with flowers and herbs and everything everywhere and everything usually grows great together. So now what we're gonna do is thin out these radishes, but, but I am not killing a radish plant no i'm actually gonna try no try is not a good word i am actually going to transplant these radish seedlings and we're gonna see how they turn out i have never transplanted radishes before i've never seen anybody do it but i'm gonna give it a try and if it doesn't work then i mean it's not really a loss because when you're thinning you don't usually save the plants that you're pulling out anyway. So I'm just separating the radishes and I'm going to go ahead and put them into the ground and see what happens into the garden bed and see what happens. So I usually drop two radish seeds in each hole um, just in case one doesn't germinate. But for most of these, y'all, there's germination. So you'll see there is enough um, radish seedlings here to plant a good amount. So. We're gonna see what happens. Keep your fingers crossed, okay? And I hope I didn't mess up the ones that are already growing in the pots, that are gonna stay in the pot, I mean. But we'll see, we will see. And like I said, we got a good amount of radishes there and I'm not mad at it. Fingers crossed, y'all, fingers crossed. <laughs> So last but not least, I decided that I was going to plant some cucumbers. So this pot here had nasturtiums in it previously, but I don't think that was a nasturtium um, seedling. Nasturtium seedlings are very, very distinct. If you have ever grown nasturtiums, then you know what they look like. Um, so I just added some worm castings there just to add a little bit of fertilizer and we're just gonna water that in really, really good before I plant the seeds. And like I said, it's going to rain all day tomorrow and it rained all day yesterday. So nothing is really dry, dry right out here. And for the cucumbers to climb up, I am using this plants, um, I don't know what you call it. Anyway, I love this thing. I use it every year. I'm starting to see a little rust in it. It's, I'm, I'm sad, I want it to last forever. So we're gonna plant four cucumber seeds, one in each corner of this pot. And just if you do this, if you plant that many cucumbers in one pot, Please remember that you are going to have to keep this pot 
fed and you're gonna have to keep it watered cucumbers love water and they love their nutrients so keep that in mind with anything that you're growing in containers so we have come to the end guys thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for liking subscribing and sharing learn with me grow with me i love y'all for real bye